everyone, Tim here from QBKing77.com, here to do a video showing how to unroot your Nexus S or Nexus S 4G, it does not matter which variant you have. Uh, this will put you back to complete stock, how you were out of the box, and also lock your bootloader. So go ahead and you'll see I have Super SU there, I am rooted, I also have twerp recovery on my device. I'm not running a custom ROM, I'm just stock rooted with twerp recovery, that does matter what uh, uh, build you're on for the toolkit. So now what we're going to need to do is go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video and download the Wugfresh toolkit. Uh, if you need help downloading or installing that toolkit, check out my how to root video. The beginning of it shows you how to download and install it. So uh, if you need help with that, check out my how to root video to get that Wugfresh toolkit, the Nexus root toolkit, all set up on your PC and then come back to this video to show you how to unroot your device. So first of all, what we're going to want to do is go ahead and go into settings. Uh, well, once you have that toolkit set up on your PC, you can go ahead and go into settings, go to developer options, turn them on, and make sure USB debugging is checked. That is one big thing. If you're running a 4.2 custom ROM, go to about phone and quickly tap on the build number a bunch of times. I think it's seven times. And then you can go back and you will see developer options there. Uh, for some reason, Google decided to hide developer options in Android 4.2. So we are ready to go now. Go ahead and plug your device into your PC and uh, we should be ready to go. Make sure USB debugging is, is there, and then go ahead and go to your PC. Once we're at our PC, you should be prompted with this model type option. Select the device you have. I have a Nexus S4G. Again, make sure you choose whatever model you do have. Uh, select it, and then select the Android build you are currently running. That's actually very important, so make sure you select the proper one. Right now, I am just stock, so Android 4.1.1. If you're running a custom ROM, go ahead and select one of those variants. But there we have it. So I'm going to select the stock 4.1.1. I'm going to hit apply, and then it should bring up your uh, Nexus root toolkit. So the first thing we're going to need to do is put it back to stock and then lock our bootloader. So that's the order of operation that we have here. You'll see a button here that's called back to stock, flash stock, and unroot. Go ahead and press that button. Uh, this is going to completely wipe your device. So make sure you back everything up. I do not think it's going to wipe your internal storage. You might want to back it up just in case. Uh, but yeah, so make sure you have uh, your device backed up. And then go ahead and hit OK if you're ready to continue. And then it says which factory image do you want to unroot with. Um, go ahead and I'm going to select this Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean build because that's what I want to go back to. And it says automatically download and extract the factory image selected above for me. I'm going to hit OK. And what's fantastic about this tool is that it's going to automatically find that image file, download it for you, and then uh, extract it for you. So it's fantastic. The download's going to take a while because the file size is pretty large. So be patient with it. Again, you'll see it is taking a bit of time. I'll be back once the download's nearing completion. Okay, so that looks like the download is just finishing. It says 100%, and I think once it is done, it's going to automatically extract it and then go ahead and reboot. It says extracting factory image and then reboot our device into the bootloader. So it's going to get everything going right away. Uh, it says initiating, and it says checking ADB status. Again, make sure USB debugging is checked. Uh, if you have any issues, you can go ahead and try a different cable. You can try reinstalling drivers. Make sure you have PDA net installed on your device on your PC. You can click full driver installation guide up at the top if you need help with that. And it says checking fast boot status and device connected. So there we go. We are in the bootloader and it says uh, flashing stock will factory reset your device. Make sure you back up your important data and hit OK. So once we hit OK, it brings up this command prompts right here. So once this command prompts here, it'll go ahead and flash us back to stock. It will take a bit of time writing everything, overwriting everything, flashing the new system. So I'm going to let it run through and then I'll be back once it is nearing completion. Alright, so it looks like it's rebooting. It says finish. It is now done flashing back to stock. It says wait for your device to finish booting at, back up. It says it may appear to be boot looping. Just wait. It could take five to ten minutes just because it is uh, just going to go ahead and fully factory reset your device and then boot back up. Since it is factory resetting our device, it'll take a little bit more time than usual. So once it is booted back up, I will be back. Okay, so once our device is booted back up and we are back to our home screen, what you can do is quickly unplug your device real quick and then go ahead and go back into settings, scroll back down to developer options, and then turn USB debugging back on and hit OK. So make sure your USB debugging is checked and we can plug our device back into our PC. 
Once plugged in, we can go back to our toolkit here, and then all we have to do is go ahead and click OEM lock. That's not going to wipe any data or anything whatsoever. So just click OEM lock, hit OK, and then that should be it. It's actually a quick, simple command prompt that doesn't take a little, a long bit of, a long bit of, a long amount of time. Sorry about that, but it'll boot us into the bootloader, and then it'll just type fastboot OEM lock into a command prompt, and then it will lock our bootloader and then we should be fully back to stock. We shouldn't have that unlock padlock at the bottom of the screen anymore either. So it says device connected, checking fast boot status, and then it should type in the command prompt once it says device connected. So there it says, your device should now be relocked. Press OK, and there we go. Hit OK, it says rebooting your device. And now once booted up, we shouldn't, there it is. So no more padlock down there at the bottom. We are fully locked, we are fully back to stock. And that's it. So that's how to fully unroot or unbrick your Nexus S or Nexus S 4G. Uh, hopefully this video has helped you out. Be sure to leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.